Nine police services from the GTA and surrounding regions are joining forces again for an annual anti-street racing campaign. This year's edition of Project Erase includes Hamilton and Halton Police and was rolled out at an event in Peel Region today. Matt Ingram has more. Our mission has never wavered to change aggressive and dangerous driving behavior associated with street racing. Calling it a significant public safety concern and a priority for police, leaders from law enforcement agencies along with partners in government made a display of solidarity today against street racing. Street racers do not acknowledge jurisdictional boundaries. This is not a task that falls on the shoulders of anyone's service. It's called Project Erase, an acronym for eliminating racing activities on streets everywhere. Multiple police services from around the GTHA combine their resources to target street racing across regions with driver education and strategic enforcement, including the use of new technologies. Just recently we have released our automatic license plate reader equipped vehicles as an additional tool. Police are promising zero tolerance, noting drivers caught street racing could face charges under the Highway Traffic Act or municipal bylaws and could have their vehicle seized and their license suspended. In 2022, the Durham Regional Police laid 214 charges in relation to stunt driving and an additional 104 charges so far this year. Year to date compared to this time in 2022, uh, Toronto had seen a 31% increase in calls for service related to stunt driving. This is unacceptable. We asked Hamilton police how many street racing charges have been laid here in our city over the past five years. And this is what they said. Take a look. We're going to throw it up on screen for you to see the numbers yourselves. Now, in 2018, it was less than 40, but by 2020, it climbed to more than 100. There was a 14% decline in 2021 with about 90 charges. But in 2022, the number of charges more than doubled up to 199. Now, we also asked Halton police for the same information, but they said it's going to take until early next week for, those, for them to get those numbers for us. When I get them, I'll share them on my social media accounts for anyone who's interested in taking a look.